I think my cat is coughing, but they may be trying to get up a hairball. I'm not really sure. It's hard. That's because they can look similar. In this video, I'll chat about how I determine if a cat is coughing and what you can look for at home. Then I'll chat about what you need to do if you think your cat is coughing. <coughs> Hi everyone, I am Dr. Osk. Some cats cough so hard they vomit. Other cats who have a wet cough sound like they have something caught in the back of their throat. They swallow after coughing, making you think they have a hairball. So how do I determine if a cat is coughing? Take a look at this video and ask yourself, is Cashew coughing or trying to get up a hairball? At the end of the video, I'll give you four clues on how we can determine if Cashew is coughing or not. Your first clue is nothing comes up. Cats are great at vomiting. So if your cat has frequent regular hairballs but you don't see a hairball, your cat is probably coughing. The second clue is to look for a change in your cat's breathing like shortness of breath. Does your cat get tired easily after playing or running around? Is your cat breathing fast? Maybe you hear a wheeze, which is a high-pitched sound almost like a whistle as your cat breathes. Or maybe you hear a honking sound, which is characteristic of a dry cat cough. Any of these symptoms point towards your cat is coughing and not a hairball. Your third clue is the position of your cat. Cats that are coughing stick their head out to extend their neck, they crouch down low, and sometimes stand with a wide stance up front to widen their chest so it's easier to breathe. Your fourth clue is your cat has symptoms related to their respiratory tract, such as sneezing, discharge from the eyes and nose, red irritated eyes, or a fever. Before we watch that video again to determine if Cashew is coughing or not, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on all of my cat content. Leave a comment below to let me know your thoughts, and don't forget your cat fact at the end of this video. Taking a second look at Cashew, we see he has a wide stance with his front legs. He is sticking his head out and extending his neck. Notice that nothing is coming out. We are not seeing a hairball. Now he takes a new position where he's crouching low to the ground. I also know that Cashew's owner says he does this one to two times a day. So if you answered Cashew is coughing, you would be correct. This is a classic cat cough. Even with these clues at your disposal, it still can be challenging to distinguish a coughing cat from a cat trying to get up a hairball. So before you get to someone like me, I want you to do two things. The first is to get a video of your cat in action so we vets can see what you're seeing in your household. I know it's hard, but have that smartphone ready in your pocket. That way your vet can confirm your cat is coughing to get started on the right foot with diagnostics and treatment. The second thing I want you to do is to think hard about any changes in your household, maybe a few days ago, but it could be as long as a few months ago, specifically something in the air and write them down. Think of coughing as an allergy in your cat's lungs. Your cat breathes something in that the lower airways in the lungs don't like. They react to it and try to get it out. We are looking for anything in the air that may be triggering coughing, like a new litter, air freshener, essential oil diffuser, anything that can generate smoke, like a fireplace, candle, cigarettes hairspray, cleaners, fabric softener, laundry detergent, mold or mildew. Maybe you just dusted or opened the windows in the spring. Maybe you just turned on the heat in the fall. Now, as you're looking around for any potential triggers that may be causing coughing in your cat, one of the hard things to think about is we are up here and your cat is down there. They have a much more intimate relationship with their environment. The things that they're experiencing down there, we may not be experiencing up here. So, and I've had many clients do this, sometimes we have to get on our hands and knees to experience what they're experiencing down there, especially areas that you don't normally go into, like under the bed or maybe a corner of the basement. So why all the big fuss about coughing in cats? That is because coughing is rare in cats. Now, if your cat coughs once every few months and is healthy otherwise, probably not a big deal. However, if your cat is periodically coughing, you pretty much have two options. The first is to identify a trigger in your household that is causing coughing in your cat, remove it, and the coughing should stop. The second, which will encompass most of us, is to have your cat evaluated by your veterinarian. Now, as soon as I mention coughing, pretty much everyone thinks my cat has feline asthma. Yes, asthma is a common reason for coughing in cats, but you have to consider other reasons, such as an infection, parasites, allergies, fluid on the chest, or cancer. 
Asthma is a diagnosis of exclusion, so you have to consider and rule out other reasons for coughing before you can make a diagnosis of asthma. Before I go, I would like to mention a medical emergency is when your cat is breathing through their mouth. Cats hate breathing through their mouth and only do so when they have to. Now this is gonna be different from when your cat has a stinky face where they smell something and open their mouth a little bit. In case you didn't know, that is one of the ways they smell. So if your cat is breathing through their mouth longer than the typical stinky face, take your cat to your vet as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out my other cat videos. And now here is your cat fact. Why do cats meow? Kittens start out making sounds like meowing, but soon stop. A cat's meow is strictly to communicate with humans. Wow. Cats do not meow at each other.